Hey everybody, it's DJ B, and this is a day in my life as a full-time model horse artist. So I woke up today at 7.30 a.m. and then generally I start my day in the bathroom fixing my hair, which is usually crazy. <laughs> I always like to start with a glass of juice or water. I don't actually drink coffee. And then I wake up the studio and get ready to paint. So at 8.30 I sit down and start working on this commission, which is just painting some white layers. I work on this guy for a couple hours. I generally listen to some YouTube videos or Netflix or something to keep me focused and concentrated. I eat breakfast after I've worked for a little bit, uh, so my stomach has time to settle. I took this time to respond to some emails, and I actually did a little bit of editing on my website. Then I took some time instead of painting to edit some videos and this took the most time out of my day. I like to do my scheduled posts for YouTube so I was working on that. And then it was 2 p.m. when I stopped and decided to get some lunch. And then I unloaded the dishwasher because I don't like leaving unfinished business on the kitchen counter. And I actually got myself ready to go into town. I always have to fix my atrocious hair for this process, so a little bit of dry shampoo. And I get ready to head out the door. I have a couple sticker orders and a parcel to go to the post office, so I'm going to stop there first. <laughs> my briar charm is still in my car. Here's some crappy footage of my phone fumbling around while I drive. I put the letters into the Canada Post box and I go to my local shopper's drug mart to deliver the parcel. We have Canada Post within that store. And then I decide to head to the vet clinic. So basically I'm hired to continue with the sympathy cards at the vet clinic I used to work for. So once a week I go in and spend an hour to two hours uh, every week doing the cards. So when an animal passes away, we do paw prints on them and then I make them into a little card that everyone signs. But unfortunately, this was actually my personal cat that passed away. Um, so that was a bit hard. And then I came back home and I begrudgingly do a workout every day now. So I try to do about 30 minutes and it's the only way that I can sustain sitting around so much and it's just makes me feel better in all of the ways. And today is a hair wash day so you get this lovely plopping wrap that I have to do on my crazy hair. And then start on dinner and then my husband arrives and he's confused because he doesn't know why I'm filling. <laughs> And we sit down to eat dinner, which was leftover salmon and rice, which was so good. We take this time to catch up and talk to each other of how our days were. We separate ways again, and I go back to the studio and I work a little bit. I didn't work too hard this particular day. I was pretty tired, but I did a little bit of airbrushing that needed to cure overnight. I worked on the other commission project as well, repainting some more whites. I also spent some time chatting with friends on Facebook, so like I don't work too hard during this time, but I like to give my husband some time on his own after his day at work. I also took the time to post on my Instagram about Frit being released, which is super cool. And I like to share all of my posts to my story just so that other people get to see them too. And this automatically shares to Facebook. And then we always like to watch a TV show before we go to bed. Uh, we didn't watch very much TV because we were both pretty tired. And say goodnight and ready for the next day. So thank you so much for watching.